video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Big thank you to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello my beautiful buddies and uh, welcome to a speed build of the Alto Mansion plus my uh, second I guess part to like my review. I'm going to be talking about gameplay, the world, and what I think of Build and Buy in uh, this video today. Um, and I also will talk about the altos as well. Um, but first thing is first, like let's actually talk about what we get with this pack and what I think of it. So you could, so I noticed there's a lot um, of different items that are of course very very luxurious very very high-end however you do get like some modern modern things as well for you guys that have a more modern style um, one thing I really really liked as well is I feel like the modern items were good suited to like more sims and just sims that wanted to be famous like you could easily make that into like a normal family home as well however the bread and butter are these gorgeous, 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 luxurious items that personally I feel like they pair really, really beautifully with the Vintage Glamour pack. So if you have that pack or, or if you've seen that pack and you like the style of it, um, then you probably will really like the furniture in this one because they have a similar taste to them. And personally, that is my aesthetic. I, I love over the top stuff. <laughs> I am extra, but that is besides the point. Um, I, you do get a lot of uh, items from the um, acting career, like set pieces, like there was a saloon set, there's space set, there is something for kids, um, like a kid set as well. Um, there also is like these really cute Times Square, um, Times Square kind of things, as well as there's like this really gigantic green screen, which seemed really intriguing to me because like I feel like it, that that would be really good of you guys that are um, that are into like photo editing. If you're someone on Tumblr or if you make videos yourself, I feel like that would also really 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 come in handy um and also too the one item that i was like really confused about is this like bed pod thing like i when i seen it i was like what what is that like i thought it was a tanning bed the first time i seen it <laughs> loki and like i and i figured out that it's like some sort of futuristic sleeping pod and you know what it reminded me of besides the tanning bed if you're someone who played console on The Sims 2, there was this like really weird item that your Sims could like sleep, I think in like a pod underwater. Like it was like an alien item. I don't know why, but it reminded me of that. <laughs> <laughs> so nice throw back there um, but yeah I really really like the items I really do think they're beautiful um, you do get this really really cool pond um, as well you get in, I, I have it in the backyard um, I'm currently don't know I'm pausing here maybe I'm taking a break but you know what we're, we're just gonna roll with it um, and I kind of want to move on and talk to you guys about the world now so the world is really beautiful i really really like the world i really do think it really really represents a good la in the sims um and i love love the pinnacles they overlook the city and they're absolutely beautiful i also really really like um the smaller neighborhood the smaller neighborhood the like lower end neighborhood as well they do um it, can, it does does give you like a more realistic sense to like the neighborhood because there is a lot of detail in it um there's like a lot of just random cars parked and like news vans and it just it just feels like very very like realistic like it feels like an open world concept without it being there like even the background houses are very very nicely done like they're they don't like you can't you can barely tell that they're just like background houses and like you could tell that ea put like a lot of thought and a lot of like oomph into this world um so i do really feel like in that sense the world is really nice and it's really beautiful um there also is the star boulevard as well or i th think it's like called like the star boulevard something like that um and i really really like it too it's really really cool i love the whole concept with the like walk of fame kind of thing i think that's really awesome as well however 
my opinion, like many others, I feel like the world is just slightly too small. Um, but I feel like the trade-off for it is that you get quality, which I really appreciate because I really do feel like with The Sims 4, um, EA really is putting quality over quantity for like The Sims 4 and I really do feel like that's really really good. I really feel like that's a good uh, thing that they're doing. I just feel like, I feel like I just needed maybe two more lots. Two more lots and I feel like it would make everybody happy. Or even two, I feel like even if they like redistributed the lots a little bit better, like maybe not had two lounges like we could have used one of those other lots maybe in the pinnacles and then like instead of having a really small park maybe of adding that into like the lower end neighborhood or just making one more neighborhood with just two lots somewhere i feel like would have been good because i feel like overall people really want room to build but if you're not a builder anyway that maybe would not be a concern for you but do i think that's a trade-off for like not buying the pack no i think that i think this pack is really really amazing really really good but like i've said in my create a sim portion if you guys haven't um watch that i will link it i also explain like the alto family which i'm going to do here too um but yeah i do really feel like you get like a lot of lot of amazing items for the create sim as well you get a lot of stylish items which i really appreciate because i'm always looking for more usable items in the game um there is like i said there's a good mix of like fantasy acting kind of outfits as well as well as more usable stylish outfits um which i feel like is something that everyone looks for um as well as the not the world what i'm talking about i'm talking i'm trying to say um gameplay so one of the best features i think about this pack is honestly the way that just the fame system works i have to really really hand it to them because the fame system in the sims 3 was not my favorite i i, I have to say it guys i really didn't like fame in the sims 3 just for the simple fact of how easy it was for your sims to become famous like my sims would accidentally in the sims 3 become famous for no reason at all all the time and sometimes it kind of annoyed me really to be honest i would forget to like opt out of it and i really do feel like this isn't the case for this game i really do feel like your sims have a purpose and a need almost well not a need but they do have like a purpose to becoming famous and they have like goals and something stuff that they can work towards and i like too that it's just like not all just like in black and light like you have to be an actor or like in the entertaining career or in like the social media one for your sim to actually become famous like i like that you could become famous for any career or any skill really uh, the choice is up to you i really really like that um and i really really like how there is like the whole perks and work system one of the things i found the hardest to do with vampires is i found it really hard to always like pick the downside to my vampires like I I don't know why but I always just did and I feel like it's kind of fun that it kind of like randomizes your quirks for you because it's just kind of like you know it's a box of chocolates what are you gonna get <laughs> anyway um with that said I, you do get like some really interesting ones too like some fan mail and there's two different ones too like you could get the quirk of getting like really rotten fan mail or you can get good fan mail and that's something i definitely want to explore for myself um and it just it's just really it's just really really cool like i also really like too like that really funny walk um that the celebrities get when they're at a high level like they have this like really snooty walk and it's it's so funny <laughs> You have to see it, guys. It is so hilarious as well. Um, and also for gameplay, too, I really, really like, too, like, how they they kind of do have it ju just a position between, like, making it and, um, like, you've made it kind of thing. I feel like that world kind of really, really does it. Because, like, when you build in the pinnacles, well, for me, or you're playing in the pinnacles, that you really, really do feel like this is, like, a really, like, extravagant neighborhood, you know? Um, versus the other one that feels very, very, like, um, not starter-esque, I guess, but, like, it feels very normal, you know? It, it like, it reminds me kind of in a way of Oasis Springs, and I really like Oasis Springs. I feel like it's an underrated world, by the way. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I just, I really, really like 
like what the world has has to offer as well um, um and what, what else was I gonna say about this pack oh so I want to leave you guys kind of like my final verdict um, of things that I really thought about the pack and do I think this is a pack worth buying? Absolutely. I do definitely think it's this great pack. I definitely think if you're thinking about getting it for Christmas or right now or, so, or just someone for a gift or something like that, it's definitely a good pack to get for them. I definitely think that if they like fame, they'll definitely get a lot of use out of it. And even if they're not, even if they're just a builder or just like a creative sim, this is definitely brings a lot of assets to that. Um, but the only thing I have to say as far as feedback wise, if I were to change one, like I guess two things about this pack, one would be something very, very minor and kind of might just be a personal taste, but I would remove that, remove that make a poster from that one pair of jeans that everybody likes um and like made like either like a separate two swatches in the catalog for it or just like added to one um without it just because i feel like they're a good pair of jeans and everyone could use them i just feel like that should be a thing that just might be a me thing that's not a big thing at all um <laughs> and of course i'm pretty sure probably someone will probably mod that anyway but that's just that, that's just besides the point um and i would have maybe liked one or two more locks or redistribute them but I really really like this pack a lot I definitely again think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it I just really really like the whole fame pack and the way that they've kind of really made it their own with the sims 4 and gave it a fresh outlook because this is something that was done in the sims 1 and something that was done in the sims 3 but I definitely think that this version of it really really gives it a new life and I really really like again like how you can like combine um, your skills and like your careers and just have like a purpose for your sense of becoming famous you know and just great for storylines as well um, and yeah also too I want to talk a little bit about the update so the update we got um, obviously the new style influencer career which goes well with this pack um but we also got first person camera which i'm yet to use everyone says it gives them like motion sickness if you don't know how to control it well so lord please help me <laughs> anyway um and also i do have to say um you do get a new jacket so check that that uh, you should get it with the update already um as well as like a new hat and new like jewelry necklace thing and shoes and jacket for your males I think some of those you have to unlock with the career but those are really really awesome as well as like the new style board and the new tablet that you actually could do art on which I was actually really excited about because it kind of like gives a second life to the painting skill and I love the painting skill it's like one of my favorite skills in the game so I was really excited about that but let's talk about this house and let's talk about the altos guys which um th shout out to um the iron seagull julianne for telling me that there is actually an alto already like that was included in this pack like holly alto so i have to go check her out i didn't i didn't even know that like when i decided to go with this whole like alto townie idea like like for videos for like my early access videos type of thing um but yeah, like I said, if you don't know who the Altos are, the Altos are a family from The Sims 3. And they are kind of business rivals with the land grabs, but they are more of a new money type of thing. They have a really, really like showy kind of style. Sims Wiki would describe it as being a little bit gaudy, um, but me being me, I like really, really wanted to like make this house quite like beautiful but still over the top so i didn't make it quite as gaudy as like the original game is or as they would have quoted it as um for instance i couldn't bring myself to make the outside pink because the outside of the house was pink and that might just be like a personal preference thing but like when i think of a pink house i think of barbie that, that just just what I think and that's not like I guess being gaudy or whatever like that but like I didn't want to give them like a pink house just because I really wanted this to be very very usable for all of you guys and I know all of you guys don't want a pink mansion um so I changed it more to like an off yellow type of thing but this entire like outside of the house 
is ex exactly the same as the original is in the sims 3 with like the backyard furnishings being a little bit different um as well as the floor plan like i the floor plan is very 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 similar to the original one with some minor things i've added like i've added a guest room and added the whole like vault thing on the upstairs just because i felt like there was way too much area just kind of like open for like the gym area in the original so i added those two um and i think i really really like the way that it turned out in the end i hope you guys do as well um as i as i was saying saying about this as well um the like the family okay so the family they're in business they're very evil business people mr and mrs alto um mrs alto is actually a politician so she's a corrupt politician i would assume um and mr alto is a businessman um but their daughter holly is really sweet and down to earth um as some would describe as some would describe from her traits and things like that she's not like them so like i feel like you could tell a really interesting story with holly i feel like you could maybe want holly to pursue fame on her own terms maybe she has like a goal of being an actress or being like a style influencer or something like that she wants to spread her message to the world she wants to spread a good message to the world and not just the one that i guess like her family um does that isn't really maybe the most cleanly i guess you could say that they treat people they treat people kind of probably awful from their traits i would assume but um one thing i didn't like about the Sim sims 3 is that like holly's room was kind of like really blah compared to the rest of the house and it kind of just made me think that like her parents didn't really like care about her as much so in this one i made her room quite nice but like maybe that's not the real message to holly i feel like even though holly would appreciate the things that her parents would give her i don't feel like that like care to like treat her so awful she just wants people to love her for her kind of thing and her family and i feel like too like she could run off with one of the land grab boys and have like a forbidden romance especially because johnny's asked who was disowned by the way he was a land grab wanted to pursue their entertainer career so i feel like that could be perfect you could tell the story of both of them um let me know too if you like some gameplay with that i will oh, kind of want to go and do some twitch streaming probably on friday i'll let you guys know i have a new community tab which is really really awesome maybe i'll post there as well as on my twitter um because we're getting close to like the end of this um so yeah thank you guys for sticking around also too if i sound different it's because i'm using my cell phone to record my audio because um i've been having some audio issues with my normal mic ever since i've updated my audio drivers and it's kind of a mess um i'm trying to fix that for a long-term solution but hopefully this audio is okay just let me know if this audio sounds smoother than my last video um fingers crossed um as well as too i'm sorry about not the first part being cut off the video is too long and i hope nobody doesn't bother any of you guys just like showing the furnishing because this is a super long build <laughs> i really think to watch and um please follow me on all my social media including my blog down below um let me know if, if you guys are going to be getting this and your thoughts down below and i love you guys all so 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 much and i will talk to you guys soon okay bye bye bye